Welcome to Paul's Toolbox. Today, Blake and I are going to cover a little electrical problem that we had in the other room, and we took care of it. My breaker panel is in the garage on this outside part of the wall. In most cases, an electrician will run the wires from the outside breaker box, which is in the garage, to the closest point, which is in this room. This is a room that has a problem, and the wall behind me is the one that Blake was referring to. It's the closest one to the panel. Now, if they drop these wires for the feed down this wall, there's a doorway on this side. So this is going to be my closest outlet. That one's probably going to be my first outlet that feeds the room. So if I check this outlet, it should have four wires in it, meaning two of them come in to feed it, and then two will go out. Now every once in a while, they'll drop it into another room and, and through there. So if this is not the first outlet, the one on the other side of that wall will be. After that, it goes from this to the next outlet, which you'll have four wires on that one too. Then you'll have four wires on just about every outlet in there. The last outlet should have two wires. And the reason is, that's a dead-end outlet. We take our tester and we go down and check each outlet. First, make sure you check an outlet that works so you know your tester's working. After that, you check each outlet and you come to your outlet that does not work, which I know is that one over there. It didn't work. We already repaired it. If I take that outlet right there and it's not working, but this one is working, I know my problem is between these two outlets. If you haven't seen my previous video, you may want to check that one out. The link is in the description box. It's called Basic Residential Electricity. It's number one of a series of videos that I'm coming out with to explain electricity. You can see here how this outlet is not working at all. I'm going to plug this in, and my dad's outside on the breaker. So once this goes off, it'll determine if we have the right breaker off. Yeah, that's it. The problem is inside this wall, so the first thing we're going to do is take out the outlets and inspect them. This is the second outlet, and it wasn't working. We know now that the open circuit is in between the feed, the one that we just took off earlier, and this one. There you go. You see how it's burned right there? Pull this out. While we're at it, Blake's going to be changing out the other outlets because I want to um, go with the white ones. Go back with the white ones on here to match my wall. My other outlets were bone, so Blake's going to be swapping them out while I fix this, and then I'll help him finish up swapping them out in this room. We're going to go ahead with this type where I can put my wire right in that clip and tighten it up. These two wires go together. That came from my other outlet. These two wires are on this side of the box. They have a hole and it goes this way. So these come in this way and these two go out this way. There's a pigtail on there where my grounds are put together but only one wire comes out. You twist them together and you only have one so you don't have a giant knot right here where you're trying to put the screw in. Okay. The other thing is keep them in order. These two come in and these two go out. You see these two? You want them in line. And these two, you don't want to crisscross them. It'll still work, but it's not the proper way, and you really want to keep this in order. I get it all the way in there. Let me loosen this up a little more. There you go. I don't want to have an exposed wire way out here where it can touch something else. I want to keep it to where the insulation is on the outside, but the copper is underneath the screw. That way you can tighten it real well, but you also don't have to worry about it catching other things. So we'll get this tight. And now this one is going to go on this side. Same way. You just slip it behind that clip, and that clip's going to hold it tight once you lock it in. And we're going to keep these two in line. Same thing. We go to the bottom of it. You want it all to stay neat. Make sure you don't have the insulation underneath that screw because then you might think you have it tight and it's not. Now all I have to do is hook my ground wire up. So I'm going to straighten it out a little bit. And then 
will make a little bend. You always want to make sure when you wrap around a screw that you wrap around it clockwise. So when I tighten this, it's not going to pull it off. It's going to actually help it snug. Snug it up better. So we'll take this and clamp it in there good. Wrap it around that screw. That's what these are great for because you can get in little tight spots. Okay. Now, all my wires are in order. Okay. And then we're going to make sure we have the ground down. That's how I remember to keep all my outlets the same. We're ready to go ahead and check it. The power's turned on. There's my first outlet. Now we're going to check the second outlet. That was the outlet that wasn't working earlier. That wasn't too bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out paulstoolbox.com for all my archive videos, and I will see you on the next project. Check out the all-new Swanson Proscribe Tape Measure, the best contracted tape you'll ever see. And let's not forget its brother, the Grip Line. That tape grips on everything. Swanson Savage Proscribe and Grip Line Tape Measures.